We're moving on to our co-main event of the evening. The ladies always bring it as we know. Ladies. Gabriella Golfin stole the show, being one half of the fight of the night against Kylie O'Hearn. Back a few events back. She's getting her vibe going now, dancing. Look at the moves, look at the moves on G-Daddy. She's taking Here a page she out of Party's book. She's getting the party going. She said she made some improvements. I think, you know, dancing. I love it. Maybe one I of like the skills it. that she added. I would not have guessed. <laughs> it would not how quiet, calm, and very reserved. collected she is. A very reserved person. She's letting loose with the moves now, just like she let loose with the fighting moves against Kylie O'Hearn. You did not expect those kind of bombs and that kind of movement out of her and that kind of tenacity if you've just spoken to her or seen how she carries herself day by day. And she really lets loose on fight night. Truly getting the dances going here. I love it, I'm a fan. Big fan. Oh man, but this girl, make no mistake, she can fight. Oh, she um, can crack, indeed. She was in a battle with Kylie O'Hearn the last time we saw him. She came up short in the decision, but I mean, that fight was, oh man. And Kylie is a huge 125er. That's what I'm saying. Right? And this girl is a high level jujitsu fighter. Oh, I see. So I'm understanding she's a purple belt and has done super fights at high levels and has only been defeated by the highest of levels of jujitsu fighters. So maybe we'll see some BJJ out of her tonight. Yeah. Well, we saw a little bit of everything in her fight against Kylie O'Hearn. And uh, what I was mostly impressed with was just the dynamic explosion of her striking. And that's something I'm looking forward to here against, uh, in her fight against Hillary Rose. I'm looking forward to calling a Gabriella Golfin fight. Honestly, I didn't get the, I didn't have the pleasure of calling that fight. I was just pacing the stage, losing my mind at how crazy paced that fight was. And Hillary was in my seat commentating the fight. So she got a little bit of intel, a little bit of you know, experience watching firsthand. Um, and that was before the fight even thought of being. That's uh, fascinating. Was even thought of coming to fruition, right? right? So by happenstance, she draws Dolphin as an opponent in her return fight to cage fighting. She, oh, I thought that was an old school cage Titan shirt. That's not a cage Titan shirt. They're missing the, 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 the T's and the S and yeah. But, Hillary Rose making her return. She spent her entire pro career fighting another promotion, CFFC, CES, made it to the Contender Series. LFA. She's been dying. Oh, yeah, she fought the LFA as well. She's fought all over the place as a pro, making her return back to Cage Titans, where she spent a, a good part of her amateur career here. Happy to be performing in front of her fans again. It was awesome having her as the first female commentator at a Cage Titans event. Can't wait to call her professional return as well. She can fight everywhere. Some fantastic strikes, good on the ground, solid wrestling. She Three. told me that she will fight wherever, however, to get this W. Extremely well-rounded in all facets of MMA. Yeah, you know, like we said, you know, she spent a lot of time fighting at uh, other promotions, so she's excited to fight locally again. You know, she spent some time. CFFC, she got a shot at their title. She fought at LFA. But, uh, you know, the timing was right, and now she's fighting golfing. And all they're right, gonna here we are for the that one's winning. Taylor Tate brought to you by Cook's Barn Grill and Quincy. All right, so. Looks like everything is almost, dare I say it, virtually identical, but Golfin will have a three inch reach advantage. You see there, she weighed in at 121. And Andy will make it official for us. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourselves for the co-main event of Cage Titans 54, a professional mixed martial arts contest taking place at a catch weight scheduled for three rounds, five minutes apiece. Introducing to you first, standing in the red corner, holding a professional mixed martial arts record of four victories and four defeats. She stands five feet, four inches tall, and she weighed in at 121 pounds. From Astoria, New York, she's representing Warriors Nation MMA, 
Gabriella. Make some noise for Gabriella G Daddy Dolphin. And now, introducing her opponent, standing across from her in the blue corner, holding a professional mixed martial arts record of six victories and four defeats. She stands five feet four inches tall, and she weighed in at 120 pounds. From Bellingham, Massachusetts, she's representing USMMA. Let's hear it for Hillary. And when the action right. begins, our referee in charge for this co-main event fight is Alan Lau. All right, and we're ready to go at this 120-pound matchup. We got Hillary Rose in the all-black, Gabby Golfin in the green top. Here we go. Gabby Golfin is like a little tornado in there, just the way she was piecing her hooks together chaining her combinations. I enjoyed watching her fight. They both land kicks there. But Hillary Rose, a dynamic striker in her own right, knows how to piece together some very fast combinations. Nice kick from Golfin, but caught by Rose. Like I said, well-rounded. Very nice takedown to start it off. We know Golfin likes to be on her back, so we will see how this, how this goes here. Great takedown, though, by Hillary. golfin has got the butterflies there. Oh, Hillary got one of them out. Hillary in top control here. Trying to cut over into a more advantageous position. Very technical, passing the guard there. Using those shoulders, that's something you don't see every day. Right in the right mouth. Right mouth. Great transitions. Hillary looking like the high level jujitsu fighter right now. She is. True. Yeah, she's a brown belt. She is about to take the back. Looks like both hooks are in, but Golfin might have an angle to sneak out. Never mind, Hillary readjusts and gets the hooks in. He's right on the neck. Oh, she's looking for the choke. And hands are unclasped yet. Golfin doing a good job fighting the grips. Yeah, Golfin's so hard to put away, as we saw in our last fight. right in Hillary's corner. I don't know, that might be a little bit deeper right there. No, never mind. I lied. Sometimes it's tough to see. That body triangle too. I don't know if it's a body triangle anymore, but Hillary, flawless with the transition, staying on top. Still looking for the neck. Ooh, well that might be in. Oh, she's looking for it. That might have slid right under the chin here. I can't quite tell, but it looks like golf and popped out again. We know that she is as tough as they make them, Gabrielle Golden. You will probably have to put her unconscious, I would think. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, She's one of those. Uh, I don't think that she would bother to tap. <laughs> oh, Golden looking to get on top. She there does. she goes. Ooh, there's a nice up kick. We're gonna leg kick. Golfin trying to land some from this position here. Nice leg kick from the top. Nice up kick from there's the bottom. There's another up from kick. Hillary Rose, though. You gotta use those. Go for the Del Hiva. Looking for the Del Hiva. Ooh, now Golfin's on top here. Del Hiva didn't work. She tried to technical get up, and then Golfin in the full guard now. Still right in Hillary Rose's corner where she's able to get good 
advice and oh she's looking to throw something up Ooh, that triangle yep not there this time one minute minute left hillary ahead in this round for sure but golfing making a case right now oh that's a nice elbow Oh, she's looking for a sweeper. She might try to time an arm bar or at least oh, attack, a leg, attack a leg Oh, Oh, she gives up her back, though. Golfin now looking for her back. Oh, Golfin might Golfin. have snuck. Might, oh, oh. Golfin might be trying to sneak. Hillary's got to be careful here. here. Yeah, very careful. She's got 20 seconds to work. And the back's been uh -oh. taken now, and the choke has sunk in. Uh-oh. This could be tight. That's very tight, this actually. This could be tight. That's very tight. Nice, 15 seconds. Well, she's she's got to move. Broke, she's she got to the move. Oh, the there it is. And Gabrielle Goffin reverses it. Wow. When she had it back taken, she stayed calm, stayed persistent, was able to escape, get out of that with a beautiful transition, take the back in her own right and score a choke. And I don't know how, but Hillary looks cut under the eye. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it was a short strike or maybe an elbow in the ground and pound, but Gabrielle Goffin silences the crowd here at Plymouth Memorial Hall, scoring a first-round submission over Hillary Rose. Very impressive. And she was in trouble before when Hillary had her back. Big trouble before. Yeah, and uh, she was able to pull it out there in the reversal. Very, very impressive by Golfin. With 15 seconds or so on the clock. Right. That's a crowd silencer if I ever saw one. Most definitely. Gabriella Golfin, I mean, she came in here with a mission. She, she came up short in her last fight here. She was looking here, she, was, she wanted to get it done tonight, and she did. Yeah, she said she had made improvements. She liked this matchup as far as size was concerned, better than the Kylie matchup. Yeah, at 120 pounds. She's a force. Now it makes me wonder if Golfin can make 15. Ladies and gentlemen, keep it going for these two. Referee Ella Mao has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 49 seconds of round number one, giving you your winner by submission due to a rear naked choke, Gabriella G. Daddy Goldfish.